Hey everyone, we're going to be using the basic transform tools in Adobe After Effects. So that means the select, rotate, and pan behind tool. That just means us clicking and using each of these tools up here, seeing what they do. And I'll also mention the keyboard shortcuts for each. These are important to learn because these three tools are some of the most foundational skills you'll need in After Effects. You're basically using these guys for everything. And uh, as for external assets, really no external assets here. Um, you could just do this with a project at home, anything you have. We're going to be doing a tutorial on shapes and coming up, and I have one in the works on text, so stay tuned to see both of those up on this channel. So say we're given an object like the circle here, and we want to move it around. So I'm going to select it, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go down here to my layer stack, toggle it open, toggle open transform, and you'll see a bunch of options here, but don't be intimidated. We're focusing on three, position, anchor point, and rotation. In fact, I'm gonna do something to neaten this up so it's easier for you guys to focus on what I'm gonna show you. So now that you know how to find those options, I've just neatened it up using a couple of shortcuts. So I want you to focus on the numbers next to each of these options. Again, anchor point, position, rotation. And as we use the transform tools, these properties, these numbers are gonna reflect those changes. So the select tool, which I already have activated here, basically is what it sounds like. It selects things. You'll find it up here on the toolbar, this arrow, this arrow over here, and the hotkey is V. So I can grab by clicking and holding, and I can drag it around my screen. It's lagging a bit, sorry about that. But take a look down here at position as I'm doing this. So you can see, that the position of my object is changing as I drag it around the screen. By the way, for those familiar with the grid system, the origin point of the grid of After Effects is over here, that's zero, zero. So as I move it up close over here, you can see the numbers are starting to head towards zero. And the anchor point over here, the symbol in the middle, that's what determines the position and rotation and all these other properties of the object to the project window itself. So I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to squish this down a bit. This is, this part's not necessary. This part's not necessary, but I'm doing it because I want you to see when I rotate it, how it changes. So rotation tool, I can click over here. The hotkey for that is W, which makes no sense. Maybe you can think of it as a wheel. And as I click and drag from side to side, sorry about that, I can rotate my object. Now it does have a bit of a shearing effect. You know, that can be adjusted but that's how you rotate an object. And like before, take a look down here, you can see those numbers are changing. The first number over here is how many rotations has it gone through. So while it may not look like it changed at all, in fact, if I were to animate this, it would rotate six times. Now the second number is what angle is it at? You see, just like that. Now the pan behind tool. So like before, I mentioned that this thing is the anchor point tool. So again, that determines the relation of this object to the composition window itself, which might be a roughly inaccurate way to describe it, but I'm just using that for purposes of this demonstration. So over here, this is the pan behind tool. I can click and drag on the anchor point. By the way, the hotkey for this is Y. And once I've done that, let's say I want to rotate it, check it out, it rotates from that point. If I want to move it, It'll move from that point. By the way, you can see I'm also manually changing the numbers down here. You can type them in or you can click and drag on either of these values and that will change it. So yeah, that's the three basic transform tools. And as you work in After Effects, you're going to find yourself using these tools all the time. In fact, you'll use them so often, you're going to end up not even thinking about it. So yeah, don't be daunted. Just focus on these three to start with. And this has been Super Designs from Noble Desktop.